I'm back again with another Kyrgyz video that I hope will help you prepare for this week's discussion. I understand that for most of you guys, the material does not correspond with what you heard on Sunday in church. That's because our church is getting ready to roll out a new sermon series. So last week, everyone was uh, given the choice to make their own message, and we had a guest speaker in Monrovia and Hollywood. So I get that uh, for a lot of you, this material does not reflect what you heard on Sunday. However, I think it's still a great option if you don't want to prepare your own material. This material that I've uh, given to you guys, it's simple, straightforward, and I switch things up a bit, and I think that'll help facilitate a very engaging and fruitful conversation. So let me go over the material uh, for you real quick, and then that's all I'll do uh, for today. So the material, I switch things up, and I, I'm basically going for a more reflective discussion as opposed to an analytical discussion. So a lot of Bible studies are really heavy on the analysis of scripture, which I think is hugely important. Uh, a lot of Bible studies focus on the context and, and analyzing the way the sentences go together, keywords, things like that, and that's where you get the content for your discussion. And I think that's, again, it's important. You cannot uh, compromise that. However, a lot of times these Bible studies are so big on like making sure they hear the word correctly that they never really fully make it to the application or they're so focused on making sure they hear the right information that they never make the transition to make sure they're also hearing the right conviction, meaning they're not listening to how the Holy Spirit is speaking to them through this passage. So what I'm aiming to do with this material is I'm uh, not focusing as much on the analytical side and I'm trying to focus a little bit more on the reflective side and trying to listen in on how God might be speaking to us through this passage. So what I do in order to allow for that kind of discussion while not compromising the importance of analyzing scripture and the context is I've given you some important context information um, up front. So you'll see that in the introduction I give you guys the context of the passage so when you go into the scripture you already have the right context in mind and you can focus a little bit more on hearing how God might be speaking to you through the passage itself. So what you want to do here because it's more reflective you might want to after having worship or an icebreaker you might want to start with silence. So you can introduce the passage, you can give the context, but before you read it and before you discuss it especially, you might want to prepare your heart by just spending a few moments in silence. Silence helps us to uh, focus our attention on God, it helps to quiet our soul and to tune in to the Holy Spirit. So you can begin with anywhere from one minute to three minutes of silence. Say, all right guys, before we dive into this passage, we're going to spend some time just quieting our hearts in silence. And, you can, and it can, for, for many of you guys, I'm sure that would be a new practice, and that in itself would be pretty engaging and interesting for your care group members. So after you do that, you want to read, and you can do this however you like, you want to read the passage slowly and out loud anywhere from one to three times. That way you're making sure you really hear it, and you're letting the word uh, sink in, essentially. So you can read it slowly and out loud three times, and then from there just jump into these three points uh, zone in on a few of these key verses and then just start practicing listening to the Holy Spirit so the first one for example uh, we're focusing on Isaiah 43 18 and it's the command to forget the former things and not to dwell on the past so again I give you some important context information there so you you get that part of the, the discussion but then jump right into the hearing so after you get the context and you read this verse, you can start asking yourself, right guys, listening to God through His Word, what are maybe the former things God wants you to forget? Are you maybe dwelling on the past too much? Or is there something you're holding on to that God wants you to let go of? And then just practice listening together. Again, you can, you can leave room for pause, leave room for people to think uh, and see how God might be speaking to them. But that's kind of what you want to do, and then you kind of just go from one to the other. Like uh, point number two is God is doing a new thing. All right, what is the new thing that God is maybe leading or inviting you into? And that can apply to individuals or even the group. As a care group, what new thing is God inviting us into? And then the last point is 
God makes a way in unexpected places. And then again, you can ask, what are the, where are the unexpected places that God might be bringing help from? And, and how does this apply to your life? Maybe there's uh, an annoying boss in your life, and how might God be bringing help from that unexpected place, you know? But really reflecting on the Word of God and listening to the conviction of the Holy Spirit. So this is a, uh, I think this would be a great prayer and Bible study exercise for you guys. If you have any questions on how to do something a little more reflective like this, you can always contact me and ask me for help or insight. Uh, again, my email is jmendez at ifjfla.com and my phone number is 626-542-5619. Give this a shot. If you don't have something prepared already or if, you, if, you're, not, or if you're not planning to um, talk about the sermon, give this a shot. I think it could be very powerful. It could be something new for your care group. And who knows how God might move through this discussion. All of us go through stuff. All of us have things we should probably let go of. God is always at work in our lives doing something new, and I'm sure it could help your care group members to try to fix your eyes on that thing that God is doing rather than the stuff of the past. Well, that's all for me. I'll be praying for you guys. Have a great care group discussion. God bless you.